Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the foliage quality. Let's go ahead and swap over to our screen itself and run our quick little example. This is pretty simple. The foliage quality setting is going to change foliage or grass, things that are basically you've applied using the foliage tool. If we look right here, my foliage is on epic and we see a bunch of little trees. If I change this to high, we're going to lose some of our trees. Our density will go lower. Medium, we'll lose some more. And low, kills all of our trees. So that's basically what the foliage node is for. And let's cover it and a small little issue to make it actually work. So looking at our node itself, it's pretty simple. It is part of the Git game user settings. So we'll have to pull off and type in foliage. We have two options, getter and setter. Right now, I have the setter shown. And if we do a get foliage, we have the getter shown. And they're pretty simple. They're going to take in a value between 0 and 3, or return back a value between 0 and 3. 0 being the lowest setting, and 3 being the highest setting. Now, in terms of how it actually works, it's not setting an individual value. It's not like it's a view distance or a draw distance where it's one fixed number. It's actually setting a group of variables. If we pull up the scalability reference right here, we can actually see the group that's changing. Quality of zero, it's going to set the foliage and grass density down to zero. Setting of one will set it to roughly 40%, two, roughly 80%, and three, 100%, or a scale of zero to one. Now keep in mind these are the default values. The base scalability INI file, which is here under engine config, is completely adjustable by you. Feel free to adjust it, but the default settings work fairly well. You can, of course, as an advanced option, go in. Maybe you want 10% as your zero setting, whatever you feel like. But by default, these are your values. So whenever you tell it foliage zero, it's going to set these two values. Foliage two is going to set these two values. Now going back to our node itself, if I was to hit play, and we're going to go ahead and look at our foliage of low, we show nothing here. And if we change it to epic and we hit apply, well, now we get everything. Now, this is only working because I've told it to work. By default, foliage will not have a quality. Uh, it, the density setting for foliage is disabled, and it's basically not going to be affected. What do I mean by that? Well, under our foliage, for the foliage here that I'm using, my little trees, all the way at the bottom is scalability. You have one option, enable density scaling. By default, so I'll go and reset default, it's disabled. We'll now run it with a disabled. We'll run over here and we'll look at all of our trees. Well, if we change this to low, it should get rid of them all, but it doesn't. Medium, no change, high, no change. Our foliage is no longer being affected by our quality setting. And that's because of this option right here. By default, it's gonna be disabled because they don't want you to wonder why all of a sudden all your trees disappeared and your players who should be colliding with them are no longer. Enable density scaling should only really be used for things like grass, maybe um, small rocks, you know, on the ground, just decoration, flowers, things like that. When you turn it on, it's now going to be affected by your scaling quality. I turned it on, we hit play, we go back over here, we have a bunch of happy tree friends, we're on high, we go to low, now we're back to no tree friends, epic, a bunch of tree friends. So our quality settings are working again. Keep in mind, it is going to be independent of each foliage type, because each foliage, if I was, ooh, let's find another one. Where'd I have my foliage at? It's actually a good question. Where is this foliage at? Oops, that's the wrong button. Hmm. Oh, showing content res. There we go. So if I dragged another foliage in here, which isn't going to work, because, well, okay, let's do this. Duplicate. Aha, foliage type two. I drag it in there. Now I have another foliage I could paint if I wanted to. Ooh, that's a lot of them. But this one right here has a completely separate density scaling option right here. So if you notice here, my foliage one has scaling turned on. Foliage two does not. If I was to run this in here, you can see, let's go to foliage low and apply. You'll see only foliage one is affected. 
Foliage 2 is not because it's completely ignoring the settings. So keep that in mind. Trees should keep their density scaling, rocks and brushes and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and enable this. Let's get rid of this because it's really scary. And there we go. Oh man, I've got stuff everywhere. Look at that. That's, ah, I'll keep it there. I'll get rid of it later. So that's pretty much going to wrap up our video. It's going to wrap up the node. Set foliage quality is enables us to have scalability density on foliage. And by foliage, we mean anything you paint in here in the foliage. And it only affects things with enable density scaling turned on. And it's going to be a zero through three value where it adjusts things in a range for both the foliage and the grass itself.